This program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest UCTV programs. Also, make sure to check out and subscribe to our YouTube original channel, UCTV Prime, available only on YouTube. The University of California Natural Reserve System is a network of protected wildlands across California. The system provides places to educate students and the public about the natural world and for scientists to conduct research in wild landscapes. Each reserve offers access to a unique environment. Two of the reserves administered by UC Riverside, the James San Jacinto Mountains Reserve and the Sweeney Granite Mountains Desert Research Center demonstrate just how different these sites can be. The James San Jacinto Mountains Reserve is located about a mile high just west of Palm Springs. The area hosts plants characteristic of several regions, including the Sierra Nevada, the coast, and the desert. It is embedded within much larger natural and scenic areas administered by the U.S. Forest Service. The James Reserve staff also manages the Oasis de los Osos. Located in a desert pass between Riverside and the Coachella Valley, this 160-acre reserve is fed by a perennial stream. Though the James Reserve is relatively small at 29 acres, it hosts an impressive variety of plants and animals. These include 18 species of reptiles, such as this western rattlesnake, mammals such as deer and mountain lions, and 125 species of birds. The principal facility at the James is the Trailfinder Lodge, which has classrooms and visitor accommodations. The James Reserve was crucial in pioneering the use of remote sensing technology for environmental research and teaching. Its wireless network covers the whole property. Local habitat conditions are tracked via microweather stations and webcams. This camera, for example, is stationed over a manzanita bush. It automatically records any pollinators that visit the heart-shaped flowers. The entire reserve is off the grid. All of the electricity needed to run the sensors, lights, computers, and other electronics comes from solar panels. The network allows anyone with internet service to eavesdrop on reserve wildlife. Nest box cameras, for example, offer views of hungry chicks begging for food inside the nest. There is even a microphone set up to listen to the forest around the clock. The proximity of the James Reserve to the UC Riverside campus, its comfortable housing, and its habitat diversity make it an excellent site for introducing students to the natural world. The Sweeney Granite Mountains Desert Research Center is located within the 5 million acres of the Mojave Desert. The region is still undeveloped and wild compared to most other parts of Southern California. The reserve is roughly 14 square miles in size, making it the second largest in the natural reserve system. About 10% is owned by the university. The remainder is operated under an agreement with the National Park Service as part of the 1.5 million acre Mojave National Preserve. The staff also administer a satellite reserve in the Sacramento Mountains, this area is known for its dense stands of teddy bear choya. The granite mountains were once part of an ancient chain of volcanoes. Weathering along the rock joints and fractures has produced white pinnacles, precariously balanced boulders, and maze-like corridors. Rugged upland canyons support water-loving cottonwoods and willows, but also dry-adapted live oaks, yuccas, and cacti. Its steep inclines evolve into broad bajadas, or sloping sediment aprons. These are dominated by creosote and burrow bush. The granite mountains are situated at the juncture of three deserts, the Mojave, the Sonoran, and the Great Basin. As a result, the reserve is home to an unusually diverse mixture of plants and animals. Reptiles at the reserve include the threatened desert tortoise, the coach whip snake, 
and the long-nosed leopard lizard. Resident mammals include ring-tailed cats, which prowl rocky areas at dawn and dusk, and desert bighorn sheep. In previous centuries, water concentrated around the base of the mountain range attracted a large population of Native Americans. The mountains are dotted with ancient habitation sites and rock art. Most reserve facilities are nestled into the broad wash known as Granite Cove. The Allenson Center and Library is the reserve's central hub. Built in 1992, it was constructed largely by volunteers using donated and recycled materials. The center includes a laboratory, specimen collections, and visitor accommodations. Researchers who use the reserve range from biologists to earth scientists to artists. Many work on the reserve itself, while others use it as a base while commuting to sand dunes, lava flows, and other features in the surrounding desert. The nearest town is located about two hours away. This makes reserve housing, telecommunications, and other amenities critical for scientists working in this vast and wild region. As with all of the sites in the Natural Reserve System, the Sweeney Granite Mountains Reserve is protected for the long term. This policy attracts scientists who know that their research plots and equipment won't be disturbed. For teachers, the Granite Mountains Reserve is a wonderful place to bring students. It regularly hosts both high school and college classes from around the world. Over 30,000 students have visited the reserve's Kenneth S. Norris Camp facility alone. A few UC classes have been coming to the reserve for decades. For students, the chance to leave the city and explore the wilderness can be a transforming experience. Holding a live snake for the very first time, or seeing a wild kangaroo rat close up, helps them appreciate the wonders of the natural world. That's the story of two very different reserves, one nestled beneath the shade of mountain forests, the other a remote outpost amid a parched desert. Despite their many differences, they share one important factor. Both are united by the mission of the natural reserve system to contribute to the understanding and wise stewardship of the earth.